computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to use the terminal command prompt to locate the Microsoft Outlook desktop application using a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer have access to the terminal command prompt as well as the desktop application Microsoft Outlook we can now start the tutorial before I start this tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. As we know, every problem is solved by indirection. You can also follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's go down to the dock. Go to Launchpad, go to the Terminal Command Prompt. Open up the Terminal Command Prompt on screen. Increase the size of the Terminal window as well as the text size. Command Plus a couple of times. Now let's list the content. The directory that we're in now, we will need to go back a couple of directories. That's because if I were to, let's just say, navigate into applications and list all the content within that directory, we cannot locate any applications as we know Computer Science Videos is not the main master account with all the applications in the main directory. We would have to go back a couple of directories to locate the application. So, CD dot dot slash dot dot ls now go into applications ls to list all the content within that directory on screen the command to open up Microsoft Outlook on a Mac computer is open speech marks Microsoft Outlook enter that should now open up Microsoft Outlook on the Mac computer via the terminal command prompt. We would then sign in and start using email to communicate with our customers and clients. So we can now quit Outlook, go back into the terminal command prompt, clear all the content, exit terminal. Let's now quit terminal. That's the last of this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.